number one automotive sales podcast. Broadcasting around the world. Around the world. 100% positive mindset on making over 100K a year. You want to make more money and close more car deals while keeping a positive mindset. This is the show for you. Broadcasting around the world. This is the Automotive Architect Sales Podcast with Ron Garverick. As the only effective vehicle valuation-based CRM focused on private party acquisition, the VBC gives you the power to create a new profit center within your dealership dedicated to buying the right cars at the right price. Customized to fit your specific buying needs, resulting in a 6x to 10x ROI. Whether inbound, outbound, or third-party leads, the VBC combines those opportunities into a single view, empowering you with the most comprehensive data to make the right buying decisions. Centralize all private party marketplaces you buy from in one location, including Facebook, Cars.com, AutoTrader, CarGurus, Craigslist, and more. From point of acquisition to point of sale, our modern next-gen platform supports your dealership every step of the way putting you in the driver's seat to stock smarter, turn faster, compete stronger, and above all else, maximize profits. Buy dealers for dealers. Welcome to another episode of the Automotive Architect Sales Podcast. I am your host, Ron Garber. Thank you. Thank you for joining me this evening. I'm even... uh, my phone to do my podcast so be bear with me on everything but today's episode is talking about the follow-up we got to focus on the follow-up in our crms you know everybody wants to make appointments get customers in so we can sell them more cars right well how are we going to do that well we got to pick up the phone we got to make phone calls to these customers When we get internet leads that come in, what is the first thing we do? Of course, we want to get them out of the tank because we got a response rate, right? But what do we have have to do to get that engagement from the customer? Let's say that it's 3 o'clock in the morning and they're looking online for a new car. But we don't come in till 9 o'clock in the morning. What programs are you using to get customers into buying a car, get them looking to buy a car. Now, if you don't have any programs that answer internet leads in the middle of the night when you're sleeping, there's a problem because the uh, some other dealership may have that program and they may have somebody responding. If it's an AI tool, if it's some kind of, uh, chat click the call that they're contacting your customers and if they go and talk to your customers they're engaging to set an appointment are you using that to help your business your dealership out to get these customers to come in if you're not you need to get with your gm or your owner whoever is in charge of the marketing the decision on on uh, paying vendors to to do stuff, to bring business in. But if you're not making phone calls, texting, emailing, and doing videos to your customers to, to try to sell the appointment, there's a problem. Too many people wanna just be handed a cupcake lead. There's too many people that don't want to work for those leads. Those are not the people that need to be handling them. Let them be the people that that set out on that little X outside waiting for the next up to come. You have to develop yourself a team of internet professionals that know how to talk to the customers on the phone and not only try to sell the appointment, but also try to get them interested in a vehicle. Possibly try to get their information up front. Make it easy. Let's save some time. Let me send you a credit app. Let me work numbers over the phone. Let me do something to get you to come in. But I need you to come in because we could talk about numbers all day long. But if you don't love the vehicle, money doesn't matter. The payment doesn't matter. The price doesn't matter. The trade-in doesn't matter. 
You got to have the customers fall in love with the vehicle. But the first thing that happens is you have to keep following up. Be top of mind. The stats say you don't sell a car till the 5th to 12th contact. I said contact, not call. There's too many customers out there that are not going to answer the telephone if your number doesn't pop up on their phone. If they don't recognize it, they're not going to answer it. So you follow up with a text message. After the text message, you follow up with a video. After the video, you follow up with an email. There's four contacts right there. We got to let these customers know, hey, we're here for you. We want to earn your business. This episode is brought to you by VinQ. It's also brought to you by Dealer Elite. Also brought to you by Connect AI. Also brought to you by Automotive Architect Academy. Guys, this is a great opportunity for you to build your business inside the dealership. You're you're asked to be an internet salesperson for a reason because you have the personality. You have the, the willing to help that department get to where it needs to be. But if you don't do your follow-ups, then you don't deserve a lead. That's just plain and simple. It's, it's not rocket science. But if you're just making one contact and not following up because the customer doesn't respond back, and then the next day you have a task and you just ignore it, you're losing money. You're losing money that you're going to put in your pocket. You're losing money how you're going to feed your family. I've always said there's three types of businesses inside the dealership. There's the brand, there's the dealerish dealership itself, and there's your business. The only good thing about you having your business is you don't have to pay for the inventory. You don't have to pay for the um, utilities and you don't have to pay for the office supplies. It's all handed to you. The brand and the dealership pays for everything. All you got to do is build your business. The thing I used to like is with the internet was I tend to want to sell cars from internet leads and phone ups more than I did taking regular ups on the lot. The reason is I didn't want to chase around customers driving around. I didn't want to go from this car to that car to the another car and have them kick tires. I learned my craft on the internet so I could sell more cars. So 20 to 30 cars a month just off internet leads. I wanted to take care of the customer before they even came in. I treated my customer like they were part of my family. I treated the customer and provided them the information to make an educated decision to come in and buy the car off of me. I was in a town of 14,000 people. Most of my customers came from out of town. I didn't have an opportunity to say, would you come on in for an appointment? Most of my customers lived two, three hours, four hours, six hours away. So everything had to be come to an agreement on the phone before they came and pulled the trigger and took the car home. The problem is today, people don't, they they think about it as it's a today business. But in all reality, it's not a today business. It's I'm going to work at the pace that the customer wants me to work at so I can have the opportunity to earn their business. So you have to think about what you're going to do to earn a customer's business. You may have to make more than five phone calls. You may have to make more than five text messages, emails, videos, whatever whatever form of communication you have to do, it all takes time. You have to be professional. You have to know how to overcome objections on the phone to get the customer to stay on track. I need to talk to my wife. It's no different if the customer's right in front of you. I know what you're thinking. Why would I do video? I don't want to do video. I'm not good at doing video. What's the difference of doing a video and talking to a live customer? 
at least with a video, you can always go back and redo it or re-edit it to make it sound more professional. But if you got a customer in front of you and they're giving you an objection, what do you usually do? You mess up. You start stuttering. You start tripping over your own words. You got to think. This is a great opportunity to make more money. The internet is the way we're going. Customers are going to want to do everything over the internet, including signing all documents before they even come into the dealership. You have to adapt. You have to get ready. You have to know what to do. Old dogs, guys, been in business for 20, 30 years. If you want to continue doing the up, that's fine. You're going to get less and less customers. You've got to adapt to the internet. you got to focus on the internet. This is where we're going right now. This is the opportunity. This is the opportunity to be great. This is the opportunity to sell more cars. This is the opportunity to make more money. I'm not lying. I took a position so we can make more money. I'm a, I'm a master of the internet. And I took this opportunity to be able to do what I need to do to provide for my family and to sell more cars and make more money at the dealership. This is a great opportunity for you to do the exact same thing. Embrace it. Look at it and say, this is what I need to do. This is how I'm going to start making money. Don't shy away from it. Don't say, I don't need this. I don't, I don't want to do the internet. You're losing out. You're losing out on opportunity. There's no difference with the customer being in front of you and a customer being on the phone or, or on their computer. This is a great opportunity. Don't shy away from it. Be aggressive when it comes to this. Guys, this is a great opportunity for you to excel in this business a lot more. I know this is a short podcast. I know this is very, very important, but I wanted to just do a short 15 minute uh, podcast to let you know this is a great opportunity to start following up with your customers, engaging with your customers. Don't ignore them. When they ask you a question, be able to answer the question. You have the opportunity with an app on your phone. I know Elites has it, Venn Solutions, Drive Centric, whatever CRM you're using, they have an app. So you could always be in contact with your customers. If you're at lunch, you can be in contact with your customers. If you're on the shitter, you can have contact with your customers. You want to look at TikTok, you want to watch Facebook, you want to watch YouTube, get engaged in your app, your CRM app to be able to make more money, to be able to provide for your family. Because if you don't do it, someone else will. So when you go back to your dealership and start working bright and early in the morning, make sure you do your follow-ups. Make sure you have the opportunity to set another appointment. If you set four appointments to show and you sold one, imagine what you do every day. If you work 22 days a week, or 22 days a month, you just sold 22 cars. You'll happen to catch another one here and there, maybe a hat trick or two, easily selling 30 cars a month. Keep that in your mindset. I have to sell one car today. But the internet, the CRM is not going to call the customers for you. They already have a relationship with you. You should be doing the follow-up with them. You should be engaged with them. Pick up the phone, do an email, do a text, do a video, and make sure you set appointments for your day every day for the 22 days, 26 days, 30 days that you work. But engage with your customers, follow up with your customers, don't ignore your tasks, and I promise you, you'll make money. 